Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nubs of all ages, let's prepare for Ponage! Yes, indeed, folks, you are joining me live, Total Biscuit, with the World of Warcraft 3v3, Season 2, Evilness, that is the Arena Tournament. We've got the first team right here, the Horde team consisting of Horde, Discipline, Priest, by the looks of it, a Horde Warlock, and an Arms Warrior. And on the other side, we've got Resto Druid, we've got a Gnome Warlock, and a Gnome Warrior, ready to juke it out. The only difference, of course, being between these two teams, the Racials and the Healers. That's what it's going to decide the particular difference here. Looks like we've got a Soul Link Warlock and an Arms Warrior, Resto Druid, Discipline Priest on the other side, and we are ready to go. Let's fire it up here on WoW Radio. It's the Arena play-by-play. -play. Buffing up and getting ready to go. Mounted up. And off we go. It's, of course, the Blade's Edge Arena going up onto the top there with the Horde team on their way. And we see flanking around to the right with the Tormund Warrior and the first fires, the first shots going off there with a debuff. A Curse of Agony by the looks of it cast on the Gnome Warlock with the Gnome Warlock engaging there. And the Tauren Warrior going after the Priest. And the Priest attempting to flank around there to get line of sight. And we're looking at the health bars here. Everything seems to be pretty equal. Little bit of damage done to the Tauren Warrior. Easily healed there by the heal of the Priest. And charging in there after the Resto Druid. We've got a Fell Hunter on the Resto Druid. Pretty smart there. Got all the curses and dots going on there. And the Warrior engaging the Druid in an attempt to stop the heals over time. But it's not happening at the moment. Certainly not the Resto Druid actually sitting on full health. And by the looks of it, 65% mana as compared to the other team with the got the Priest on about half mana at this point. And the Warlock going very, very low indeed. So early in the fight, not so good at all. Warrior there engaging Warrior, not doing all that much. And then charging in again after the priest. We've got the warlock behind there, trying to line of sight and engaging, chasing after the resto druid, and then of course being engaged again by the gnome warrior. We've got a lot of damage there for the warlock. Warlock taking hefty damage, and he's just saved there by a quick heal by the priest, but the priest is running a little bit low on mana, going below 50% threshold, and more damage done to the warlock there. Warlock almost out of mana. Going to cause an awful lot of problems if they attempt to use the life tap to get that mana back. That will be very unfortunate indeed. Quick life drain there on the Gnome Warlock. Not an awful lot of life actually taken back there. We've got red flashing warning signs on the Warlock. Warlock almost down. Quick heal there by the Priest. And the other team looking incredibly strong at the moment. I must say, health level's very high. A lot of mana there. Resto Druid showing his efficiency. And a quick drain there by the Warlock attempting to drain the other Warlock of some life. But the Warlock's sitting on full health but no mana. Not an awful lot of use there, I must say. Well, the Tauren Warrior engaging the Gnome Warrior again for some inexplicable reason. Not entirely sure why he's not going for the cloth. He's there. Warlock on low HP. Can they take him down? Yes, they can. Warlock down on his backside. Utterly ridiculous. Never seen anything like this before whatsoever. We've got the Alliance team there sitting on by the looks of it, three people with relatively good HP, a lot of mana there, and the priest running incredibly low on mana at this point. Discipline priest, low on mana, used all his tricks, and a lot of draining going on there. We've got the gnome warlock on top of the bridge, he's got a very good view, and down goes the priest, right down there, absolutely annihilated, and the, only the warrior left, warrior going down, being beaten to death, and that is it, that is the end of the game. Well done, fantastic, fantastic play there by the Alliance team. My name's been Total Biscuit, and you have been watching live, play-by-play, -play, Arena. World of Warcraft.